Hey there guys, this is Liam Kincaid from Bellingham Nissan where the sun is always shining. And I'm gonna be doing a little walk around on behalf of Michelle Starkey because she's feeling a little camera shy today. <laughs> what we're looking at today is the 2019, is this a 19 or a 20? This is a 2019 Nissan Titan Pro 4X, brand spanking new. Hop on over here, you can get in the driver's seat. So look at all the bells and whistles, come on, have a seat. Have a seat vicariously through Michelle, the camera woman and sales consultant extraordinaire. So take a look at this guy. As far as the bells and whistles and creature comforts, we've got just about everything on here. Look at these little knobs right here. They do something really cool. So if I turn them this way, it's gonna do the air conditioned seats, right? So it's gonna blow through the leather and keep your buns chilled. Buns toasty going over this way if I turn on the heat and there's three different settings here. One of the best things about this, bring it back over to my face, is that if I remote start and I leave this knob over to the hot setting, when it's freezing outside and I'm walking across the Walmart parking lot, it's gonna heat up the seats when I remote start. So when I get in here, it's already nice and toasty. This guy's also got intelligent automatic climate control. So it's gonna detect the outside ambient temperature when uh, I remote start and if it's cold out, it's gonna heat it up. If it's hot out, it's gonna cool it down. So that's pretty sweet. I never have to worry about being in inclement climate in my truck. Check out all the cool stuff on this thing. This thing in a Pro 4X, it means I got this awesome stitching in here. Uh, reinforced suspension. If I'm not mistaken, this also has a special rear locking diff too. So the, the four wheel drive traction is just gonna get me wherever I need to go. I can be running through sand and mud and snow and all that crazy stuff, whatever you throw at me, right? Look at this thing. The cup holders, if that's not your favorite spot for them, check this out. Take it out, put it right there. Oh, I don't like that. Maybe I'll put them back. Maybe I don't want them at all, right? Just toss them over there. Look at this. And then plenty of storage space. Where did that go? I'll never know. I found it. Look at how huge the center console is, by the way. And two more cup holders? Holy cow, I can have like four drinks just up front here. This guy's really big, so if you're using this for work and you're out in the field, you need to put your laptop down and start writing up an invoice for somebody. Right here, I don't have to go home, I don't have to be screwing around with my phone, laptop. Inside this guy, look at that, another removable storage component. I can put it here, I can put it here. I'm not gonna throw it in the back this time because it's kind of hard to find, but I can remove it. And look at that, a 12 volt outlet. Maybe I need to charge my phone, maybe I need to plug in a charger for my power tools or perhaps an air compressor if I'm going camping. The possibilities are endless. Heated steering wheel. This button right here will turn off things like blind spot monitor. By the way, did I tell you about blind spot monitor? Show them on that mirror, because this one's too far away. <coughs> that nifty little icon in the corner of the mirror there is gonna light up when there's a vehicle in your blind spot. And when you try to put your turn signal on, it's gonna flash it and it's gonna make a beeping noise, alerting you to the fact that you shouldn't merge lanes yet. You also see that you got the towing mirrors there. They're gonna help you not hit things when you're moving your trailer around, the boat, car, whatever you're trying to do with it, right? So you can turn those off though if you don't like all the flashing and beeping, if you prefer to drive undisturbed. You also got this button here that's gonna turn off your parking sensors uh, in the event that you're trying to back up to a trailer and the thing's just screaming in your ears. But otherwise, you're probably gonna to wanna to leave those on so that you don't hit things, right? Uh, this is gonna turn off your traction control, so if you wanna go do donuts in the snow or in the parking lot, it won't stop you from having fun, right? What do we got over here? Here's your four wheel drive controls and it's shift on the fly. That means while you're flying the car, you can turn on four wheel drive. Psych actually just means that up to 50 miles an hour, you can throw over to four high once you realize you're in a little bit of trouble traction wise. And then of course you still got to stop it and put it in neutral if you want to go into four low. But we're in Bellingham here, I assume you are as well. So probably not going to need to do that very often, right? Let's go over to the back seats. Can't forget about shiny these guys. These are the these are the all weather floor mats here. They're made out of a pretty sturdy leather, not leather, rubber. So you can just spill all sorts of nasty stuff on these and then just throw them in the backyard, spray them off with a hose and they're good to go. Back bench seat here. Plenty of room where I can just lay down and take a nap. <laughs> or I can fold them upwards pull this guy down here, assuming the floor mats aren't in the way. Be done with these. Pull it back down. And now I can get my feet up here, which is pretty nifty. How much space are we working with back here? Also, this locks. This thing, I can lock it down so I can put some forbidden contraband underneath here and nobody's gonna get to it unless they break it. 
And have a look at this too. Let me grab that phone from you. What do we got back here? Maybe it's a little dark. I got a heated seats for the rear passengers only. So if you care about them, they can store, stay warm too. Then we also got ourselves a little AC outlet here. If you need to plug something in that doesn't go into a 12 volt, we got two USB chargers.